My name's John Campbell. I'm an artist from Melbourne. I mainly make paintings. I also play music. I guess I first listened to music before I was interested in art. Like I grew up listening to the radio and then I started to go and see bands. And then I started to play music when I went to art school. It's always been a part of what I do and it's always been aligned pretty closely to me being an artist. The first artworks that I started to make that were related to music were using band set lists that I'd collected starting in the early 80s. Having the list was like the memory that I was there and I was up the front of that gig. I also liked that they um, were handwritten, mostly. Someone in the band had written that usually just before the gig, so it also was about a kind of moment in time, if you like. I brought my collection of lists together um, in a book form as a kind of extension of making them into artworks. The lists in the book are true to the actual lists, they're true to scale and printed in offset so that they maintain the quality of the kind of paper and all the detailing of them. In some ways a kind of snapshot of a kind of history of music and a history of music that I'm particularly interested in, that's personal to me. Maybe people you know, might get a sense that there's another big world actually that goes around music, that's around detailing and around a personality and touch and things like that that are also associated with um, music. I guess I started to make figurative paintings when I first started as an artist. I had always done lettering at high school and uh, I was kind of more interested in the headings uh, for my writing rather than the actual content. In thinking about how to remake the subject, I started to introduce it as words, if you like. And then I just kind of became obsessed with that and uh, have kept going. So it's been, my artwork's been pretty much text-based for the last 20 years. It's been important to uh, try and capture something of the vernacular or the slang or the everyday language that we use. I think there is particular things um, that Australians have in the way they pronounce words, the way we abbreviate words, the way we drag the word out. Um, so I'm trying to find those things and use that as a way to try and represent something I guess about who we are. So I made a book titled Lettering and it's essentially a collection of preliminary works of mine, drawings and designs. I made it with uh, a Melbourne designer, Warren Taylor, and we made it with the idea that it actually could be used, the book, if people were interested in lettering. It's been interesting um, thinking about with the show coming up and looking back through to find some of these um, little gems that are hidden away, actually. This is one of my favourite zines, Inner City Sound uh, by Clinton Walker. It's an incredible collection of articles and photos from the late 70s, early 80s in a classic zine style of cut and paste and photocopy. It's got a beautiful gaffer taped spine on it. I think there's a strong scene in Melbourne around zines, self-publishing artist books you know like of course we're in a big digital world an online world and i think more and more people are not just giving over everything to that and so i think there is a rise in this idea and this way of building a community around that and sharing things around that